Has everyone here paid an entry fee? What do you think? No entry fee, no fight. It's as easy as that. You will get your gold back, along with mine, once you have defeated me in the arena. I know, man, I know. I could have told you that. Tell me about your boss. Above Merrick. He's got all kinds of problems with this bunch of losers. But as far as I can see, he's got it all under control. Do you like your boss? Yep. Merrick is good. We mercenaries don't have this much freedom anywhere in the Midlands. Aha! Methinks I haven't had the pleasure of putting a fist in your face, have I? Pay your starting fee with Ashton already. I want to fight against you. What do you think of Merrick? Nothing would work here if it weren't for Merrick. That's for sure. Tell me about Merrick. I would love to beat him in the arena. The others think the world of him, but it's all just bullshit if you ask me. Merrick is a total loser. I'd bet my head on that. Merrick isn't exactly your friend. No, not exactly. But as long as the mercenaries outnumber us in this city, you come to terms with it, or you die. What do you think of your leader, Merrick? Merrick is an orc lover. He was already working with him during the war. He's such a toady. Always sucking up to Varric, the leader of the orcs. His leadership qualities leave something to be desired. Everybody here is out for himself and has skeletons in his closet. I don't particularly like Merrick. He's a self-righteous asshole. Would you teach me how to fight? <clears throat> Good. What do you think of Merrick? Well, I don't know. I don't have much to That's do with him. I think he does his job pretty well. I took care of the slaves. So I see. I'd have done it differently, but whatever. Now we need new workers here in camp in a hurry. Go tell Dennis from the stockyard outside the city that he should send me new people. Deep series. Thank <laughs> you. 
some problem solving. Like still, I don't think it at all. Just if it was so easy. Bradley needs new slaves. All right, just take what you can find here. Tell Bradley he shouldn't work the slaves so hard. I can barely use his people in my yard. The stray wolves have been eliminated. You mean I can relax now? Sure looks like it. That's a comforting thought. Good job. Here's your reward. You're needed at the excavations in town. Don't even say that. I can't go. Working at the excavations is the job from hell. You have no idea. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't send you. I could tell you where to find a treasure. Where is this treasure? Oh no, it's not that easy. How do I know you won't send me to work in town anyway if I tell you? So, what do you want? I want you to go to Dennis and tell him that I should stay here. Then I'll let you know where there is some treasure to be had. I will talk to Dennis. All right, I will wait. I will let the slave Kelvin stay here in the yard. Fine with me. You should go, otherwise we'll both get in trouble. I talked to Dennis. Are you happy now? Fine. Listen up then. Ashton the mercenary lets the other mercenaries fight in his arena in Monterra. Everybody knows they're all fighting for gold. Ashton turns the gold into his boss, but I know that most of it ends up in his own pocket. He hides his gold under a bush behind the arena so he won't be found out. How do you know about this thing with Ashton? Once when I was cleaning his rooms, I watched him hide his gold. All right, mate. Now you're going to work in the temple again anyway. Oh, please. You can't mean that. Yes, I can. You're a right bastard, you know. You're going to work in town again from now on. Oh, no. Please. I, I can't bear the pain of the excavations anymore. Oh, well. Then what can you offer me? I could uh, give you some information that will help you gain favor with the mercenaries. Okay, tell me what you've got. Listen then, not too long ago, Dennis sent some of his people to the grain farm to cause some trouble there. No idea what it was that they did, but I'm sure they were up to no good. What? That was it? I'm sorry, that's all I know. Give me some gold, and you can stay on the farm. Gold? I'm a slave. I don't have any gold. Get moving to the excavations now, or I'll drag you there. All right, all right, I'm going. Are you serious? Some things will never change. Dennis says you shouldn't work the slaves so hard. That smartass. Let him do this job then. Whatever. Thanks. Here's your reward. The slave Leon is working in the temple again. Good. The slave Kelvin is working in the temple again. Good work. Here's a few coins. About the mercenaries. Dennis is having a running battle at the grain farm. That idiot! I'll have to go out there to put an end to this nonsense. Thanks for the information. Fedor thinks you are a weakling. He says he could defeat you in the arena, hands down. Ah, yes. 
I suspected as much. It's high time I once again showed the boys in the arena who's boss. Dan the Gladiator is very pleased with your work. I should think so. I gave him a slave after all. Oh well, here's your pay. Goose the Gladiator appears to be loyal. Yes, Goose is a good man. Ashton is embezzling gold from you for the arena fights. Is he really? How would you know that? I need proof. Bradley's fleecing slaves. I know. The slaves will pay gold to get on the rotation list. And Bradley passes this gold on to me. Are you sure that you see all of the gold? No, I'm not. I need to have a look at that list. That lazy bum still owes me the revenue from his farm. Tell him to give you the gold or I'll have his head, okay? Sanford isn't very fond of you. Did he say so? Yes, in no uncertain terms. Oh well. As long as he does his work, I don't care what he thinks of me. What is it? Are you unhappy with your pay as well? Go back to work. Slow down. I'm not one of your people. Then what do you want here? I'm busy. If I don't watch out, the slaves will take off and the boys will just hang around and be idle. I think you may need my help. Oh, damn. 
I have a feeling that I'm going to regret this. First, show me what you've got. Then, maybe, I'll think about it. Slaves are escaping from your farm? Yes, damn it. Go ahead and rub it in. Not enough that this Marek is constantly after me. My own people are making fun of me now. You should get your lads going somehow. Light a fire under them. Great suggestion. The only thing that could motivate them now is alcohol. We're either going to be stabbed by grain thieves or overrun by the undead from the castle to the east. What about the rebels? The royalists are lying low in the mountains or hanging around outside of Montera. The rebels aren't a serious threat. The grain thieves up north are more cause for worry. They will come at night and steal those sacks of wheat right from under our noses. I'm halfway expecting to wake up with a slashed throat while my own people are snoring in the hay, sleeping off a hangover. Tell me about Merrick. He is an orc mercenary, just like me. Merrick is our leader here in Montera. He sees to it that everybody works and doesn't just do what they damn well want to. I'd like to know how he does that. I can't even handle the handful of people here on the farm. Did you just say undead? If you follow the path to the east, it will take you to the old paladin stronghold. It's nothing but ruins these days, but still inhabited, if you get my drift. I wouldn't go too close to the castle if I were you. Dennis set your hay bales on fire. Yes, I know. That swine is mocking me too. Let him then. He who laughs last, laughs best. I will take care of the grain thieves. You want to do what my people haven't accomplished in weeks? Ha! Go ahead, I want to see that. You wouldn't happen to be one of the mercenaries, would you? What? Probably not. Otherwise, you'd have killed me, wouldn't you? Who are you? I'm Mason. I'm a rebel. I've surrounded the stockyard with my people. We're just waiting for the sign to attack. Surrounded? What are you talking about? We rebels are everywhere. You should know. Even if you can't always see us. Anyway, we control the whole valley here. Well, well. What in the world are you planning? First, we'll sort out the livestock. <laughs> Just wait, it'll be fun. What livestock do you want to kill? Well, the fat cows in the stockyard. If the mercenaries don't have anything left to eat, they're bound to give up quickly. I see. What about the pigs? They aren't so important, they don't give milk. I see. You are completely nuts, you know that? If you think it's easy to kill the cows, you'd better think again. Those bastards keep a closer eye on their animals than on their purses. Well, we'll see. Who's going to give you the sign to attack? We've planted a spy in Montera. He'll inform us when it's time to strike. Who is your spy? Um, I, I don't really know if I can trust you, but maybe you can prove it to me. You help us with the business with the cows, and I'll tell you how to get in contact with our spy. I'll take care of the cows in the stockyard. What? Really? That would be fantastic. You'll see. The mercenaries will give up soon once the cattle are dead. We'll see.
Here are your milk barrels. You are really good. I know. Well then, here's your pay. Here are your sacks of wheat. Very good. But I need 15 of them. Go get the rest. For the king. You're awfully brave. What do you mean? You won't get far talking like that with the orcs occupying the area. We rebels can be recognized a mile away anyhow. You should treat us with a little more respect. Otherwise, you'll end up like the desert merchants. What desert merchants are you talking about? If you follow the road to the west, you can still see their old stuff lying around. We robbed them and drove them off. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for a message from our man in Montera. Your man? We planted a spy in among the mercenaries. He's supposed to let us know when the right moment has come to start the revolution. Will you tell me more about your spy with the mercenaries? Just because you haven't killed me yet doesn't mean I trust you. That would be too easy. You robbed the desert merchants? Oh yes, and how. But before you get any silly ideas, we already took everything to Okara. Tell me more about Okara. You'll learn about that soon enough. Believe me. I want to join you. Then prove it. For days, one of those stupid mercenaries has been hanging around our meeting place. He's disturbing our communication with each other. Make him go away. Where is your meeting place? On the hill south of Monterra, there is an old ruined tower there.
show you. Stop right there. I went to see the orc leader in Montera. You did? Well, it was time. He's still waiting for the rent from this farm. You are to hand me the gold at once, or he'll come out here and have your head. Um, all right, all right, uh, here it is. No hard feelings, huh? Yeah, yeah. Show me your goods. Your turn. I'll tear you apart. Stop. 
stop right there. I went to see the orc leader in Montera. You did? Well, it was time. He's still waiting for the rent from this farm. You are to hand me the gold at once, or he'll come out here and have your head. Um, all right, all right, uh, here it is. No hard feelings, huh? Yeah, yeah. About the mercenaries, Elber is having massive problems leading his people on the grain farm. You think I should replace him? You said that. Right. I'll think about it. Good work. Keep it up. I've got the rent from Dominic. <laughs> Great. Scared the living daylights out of that lazy pig, did you? Keep the gold as your pay. I consider the payoff well worth it. About the mercenaries, this is Bradley's list of slaves. Mm, looks all right. I guess Bradley is cleared then. Here, for your effort. You better take this list back to Bradley right away. Mm, oh boy. What's the problem? You simply stole it from him, didn't you? <laughs> well, my friend, this is your problem. Here is your slave list. What? What are you doing digging through my stuff? I ought to skin you alive. Now you have your list back. Don't do that again or you'll regret it. Some problems solve themselves. You're bilking Merrick out of his gold. So? Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do about it? About the mercenaries, I found this in Ashton's hidey hole behind the arena. Crap! Looks like you were right after all. 
That swine is raking in gold by the bushel. I need to have a serious talk with him. Very well done. Here's your pay. Anything is possible. As if it were so easy. Still got things to do. I'm sure of that. Uh, shut your trap. If we crack down too hard, we'll leave me alone. A mora never dangerous in place for a mora. That. Why? The I'm castle really up there is full of undead mora. You had better get out of here. We should teach them. Who's in charge here? Patros is in the house with the tall tower over there. We have to think before. We Will you trade with me? If you have gold, why not? Always be firm. Show me your goods. Nothing but trouble. Honor is in battle. Eventually, they will all submit. We'll see what happens. We have to crack down there. I know what you think. I prefer. If we crack down too hard, we'll soon there is another. Here is something about the ancient magic. Something about the history of the ancient culture. We'll see what happens. But there is If we crack below. down too hard, we'll soon run out of slaves. I a decent just a week. I know what you think. I say we exterminate them. As if we didn't know that we If we crack down too hard, we'll run out of slaves. Hey, you! Why are you running around here free, Mora? Talk, or I'll have your hide! We'll see what happens. I'm supposed to support you. Who sent a weakling like you to this accursed place as support? 
Don't try to fool me, Mora, or I'll put you in my cell with the other prisoner. What are you doing here? I am the leader of this outpost of Gotha, and you will kindly treat me with respect, weakling. Outpost? What are you guarding here? Gotha and its castle of miserable Mora fighters called themselves paladins. Once so proud, now they are damned to eternal life and wander through the remains of their buildings in Gotha. Ha! What happened to Gotha? You really have no idea of what's going on here, do you? Gotha was the stronghold of the paladins in the war. We used everything we had, but we just couldn't defeat them. They dug themselves into their castle like ticks. Only when we called Beliar himself for help were we able to put an end to their arrogance. The demon of destruction swept through its streets and damned them all to living death. If a demon rules the city, why are you guarding it then? That's probably too hard for your little bird brain to figure out, isn't it? We are here to contain the power of the demon. Zardas, the bearer of the power of Beliar, assigned us to this. What do you think would happen if the beast swept across the land, huh? What was the prisoner's crime? The man is a rebel. He will be executed when the time is ripe, with many Moras watching. But there is another problem. Release the prisoner. Ha <laughs> ha Why should I do that? I can't wait to see how you're going to try to convince me. What do you know about Zardis? Even here, I can feel his power. Although he is far away. And where exactly is he staying? He built a tower on the icy slopes of the eastern mountains. How much do I have to pay you to release the prisoner? You must be out of your mind, Mora, to think I can be bribed like that. It would take a whole lot of gold for me to abandon my principles. How much? Ha! Huh. More than you can afford. Two thousand gold coins. There you are, at last. Get me out of here, dammit! Gorn, what have you been up to this time? I tried to find the teleporter stone to the capital Vengard in Gotha. But unfortunately, it's teeming with skeletons and zombies up there. They're led by a pretty nasty demon. Well, and while we were fleeing those monsters, the orcs got their hands on me. The rest of the rebel troop didn't make it. Why would you want a teleporter stone? The rebels of Okara want to get to the king's castle. They say there's a teleporter stone for the capital in Gotha. You're working for the rebels? Our friend Lee still has a bone to pick with the king, as you know. He sent me to find a way to get to the king. The rebels in Okara seem to be the best starting point to achieve this. Where is this place, Okara? Okara is an iron ore mine west of Gotha. The rebels are forging weapons there for their fight against the orcs. Since when have you been afraid of the undead? Gotha is the likeness of hell. You will tremble too. Once that demon is after you, believe me. Where is Lee now? He's running around somewhere in the icy wastes of Nordmar, beating up orcs and stuff. Why would you go and attack a city if you know it's haunted by such a terrible demon? The rebels gave me this divine artifact. You see? Some idiot talked me into believing that it makes you invincible. Forget it. The demon was still way too strong for me. How can I get you out of here? You know how this works. Either you take on the entire orc camp, or you pay them my ransom. Where's the divine artifact now? Ah, I dropped it when I was fighting the demon in Gotha. That monster must have taken the artifact with him.
was to impress me. I'll show you which one of us is a weakling. Well, well, will you? Just wait. It won't be long before you're lying in the muck, Mora. No one beats me. No! 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 Next time I'll get you, Mora. All right, you win. What do you want? Release the prisoner. Over my dead body, Mora. Show me your goods. Here, take the gold. Release the prisoner. You would give me that much gold for a dirty rebel, Mora? Uh, all right. Take him, but then the two of you get out of here and don't come back. Is that clear? We'll see what happens. You're free now. <laughs> Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. Let's kill this demon in Gotha. I'm really not too keen on going back in there. But, what the heck? Who wants to live forever anyway? <laughs> Tell me when the action starts. <laughs> 